Hey there, it's Kaylee, and in this lesson, we are going to learn to calculate the volume of some 3D shapes like cubes and right prisms. In this lesson, we are going to concentrate on how much space is inside a solid figure. Since these shapes all have depth, we can think of them as containers. Volume is how much space is inside a container. Let's look at this square prism to start. Notice that this prism is made up of cubes. We see that the prism is two cubes long, two cubes tall, and two cubes deep. So we know that the length, the height, and the width of this prism we can count how many cubes this prism is made out of, and we would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cubes. Or we can multiply the length, 2, times the height, 2, times the depth, 2, and we get the same number of cubes, 8. Now let's take a look at how we calculate units for volume. Remember for area, since we are multiplying inches by inches, we end up with inches squared. Since we are multiplying inches by inches by inches in volume, we end up getting inches cubed. Another way of saying inches cubed is inches raised to the power of three. So when we're finding the volume of a solid figure, we start with our base, which is our length, and our width. And then whatever shape our base makes, in this one it's a rectangle, then we would stack that same rectangle on top of each other so it just keeps going taller and taller. And that is our height. But notice that it's always the base being stacked on top. So the same shape or cross section on the bottom is being layered on top until we get to the height of our figure. So if we look at this shape here, what do we have for our base? Yeah, it's a rectangle. And if we find the area of the base of our prism by our formula, area equals length times width, or in this case, five inches times two inches, we will get 10 square inches. Now, if we know the area of our base, we can think about stacking our base rectangle until we get to a height of three inches. If we imagine there are three one inch cubes here, we would see that we need to multiply our base by an area of three inches. So we will have 10 inches squared times three inches. And this gives us a volume of 30 inches cubed. And this is how we can determine a formula for volume. We can find the area of the base and multiply it by the height. We can write this formula as V equals B times H, where B stands for the area of the base. Now, what if we have a triangular prism? Let's look carefully here. What do you think the base of this prism is? Remember, a prism has two parallel and congruent bases. So with this solid, our bases are triangles. So we need to find the big B in our formula. And we know how to find the area of triangles. So we can use the formula A is equal to base times height over 2. And for this triangle, that will give us five inches times six inches over two. And that gives us 30 inches squared over two, which gives us 15 inches squared. So that's the area of our base here, or that big B. Now, what do we do with that big B? We have to multiply it by the height of our prism. So looking over at our prism here, we see that our triangle bases are connected by edge lengths of seven inches. So that is the height of our prism. 
prism. So we can say the volume is equal to 15 inches squared times 7 inches, which gives us 105 inches cubed. And that's our volume. Let's do this example together. So we need to find the area of our base first. So here we can imagine that there is a rectangular base down here that has length and width of six inches and three inches. So big B is going to be length times width, width of our base, which is six inches times three inches. And six times three, that gives us 18 inches squared. So that's my B. And now I need to multiply my B times the height of my prism, which I can see is this side length here, which is four inches. So if I say B is equal to 18 inches squared times four inches, that will give me a total volume of 70 two inches cubed. So the total volume of my prism here is 72 inches cubed. And now you know how to find the volume for cubes in right prisms. Great work. Practice what you've learned by doing the online games and quizzes. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.